Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are continuing on with the AP Calculus 2005 for your response questions and we're looking at number five here. A car is traveling on a straight road for zero less than or equal t less than or equal to 24 seconds the car's velocity v of t in meters per second is modeled by the piecewise linear function by the graph above. Find the integral of v of t and using correct you explain the meaning of this. Well, the area under the velocity curve is a uh, total displacement. So the integral of this is really this area. And you can either think of it as like, you could either break it up into a triangle and then find and then find a rectangle and two triangles and find that area. Or it could do area of a trapezoid. Uh, it's one half the sum of the bases times the height. Okay, uh, this base is 24 plus this width goes from 4 to 16, so that's 12. And then the height is 20. This is 36 times 1 half of 20 is 10, so it's 360. Now the units of this, because it's meters per second and this is seconds, I do meters per second times seconds, and that's meters. It's the total displacement. of the car uh, in 24 seconds. For each of v prime of 4, v prime of 20, find the value, explain why it does not exist in okay, units of measures. v prime of 4, the derivative at 4, uh, does not exist because it would be the slope at time t equals 4. But you see the slope from the left and the right, um, uh, slopes from left and right unequal. Okay, so that's the first one there. V prime of 20. Oh, same thing. Neither exists because um, because at that moment, the slopes from the left. Are... And why do the slopes left and the right matter? It's because uh, the derivative is always written as a limit. Right? And if h, that means it has to be the same when it's going from the left or the right. And from the left means I got to calculate the slope from the left, and from the right I got to calculate the slope from the right. And you see, uh, they would be unequal. That's why the limit doesn't exist because it doesn't exist for both zero going to the left and right. Uh, C. Let a of t be the car's acceleration times t in meters per second per second. For zero less than t less than twenty-four, write a piecewise defined function a of t. So a of t is just equal to v prime of t. And let's double check. So it's the slope of v prime. Now between 0 and 4, it has this slope. It goes up uh, 20 over 4, so that's 5 meters per second squared. And that's over this time interval. Over this time interval, it has no change in its acceleration because it's a flat line. The slope is 0. And that's between 4 is less than t is less than uh, 16. And then here has negative slope. It goes down 20 over 8 seconds. So minus 20 over 8 or minus, uh, minus 5 halves meters per second squared. And that's um, 16 is less than t is less than 20. Now none of these have equal. And that's important because we said at the equal it does not exist, in which case we would not put, it, we would not put an equal sign for 4 or for 20. Uh, or six, uh, sorry, six. Oh, v prime of 20, I was not correct here. I, I, I did 16, the y value is 20. v prime of 20 is actually equal negative 5 over 2 meters per second squared, like we just calculated. Okay. D, find the average rate of change of v over the interval 8 to 20. Does the mean value theorem guarantee a value of c? Um, the average rate of change of v is the slope between x equals 8 and x equals 20. So here and here, say, for example. So that's what the average rate of change is. Um, um, v of 20 minus v of 8 divided by 20 minus 8 
V of 20 is uh, do, 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 about 10, I think. Let's see, over four seconds, yeah, I think it's like 10 minus V of eight, which is 20 over two. That's equal to negative five meters per second squared. Okay, that's the average rate of change of V. Does the mean value theorem guarantee value C to where the tangent line slope is equal to the secant line slope? And no, because and you, you see you can't find one because there's only two slopes, this slope and this slope. And it's because um, F is not differentiable. At uh, T equals 16. It has to be differentiable over the whole interval because it's not differentiable at, at that particular point. Is why you can't apply the mean value theorem. Okay, cool. Uh, that one was pretty straightforward. I feel like I should have gotten all of those right. Um, 360, 360 meters in 24 seconds. Negative 5 halves, 5, 0, negative 5 halves. They're just noting it doesn't exist. Um, minus 5, 6. Did I calculate that wrong? V of 20 is 20. Oh, 20 minus 8. Uh, I just, just can't do math. 20 minus 8. This should have been 12 over here. Should have been 12. So this should have been uh, negative 10 or 12 or negative 5 over 6. Yeah. Okay. I went too fast on the computation there. Uh, mean value because f is, v is not differentiable at t equals 16. So hope you found it helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.